Hey guys, Maxico here again with another video for you guys, and today we are going to be looking at the Guild War, checking raid events, and leveling up my new Shadow Forged armor. So let's take a look at that really quick. Fire, fire, and it's a plus version. So max stats. Sadly, I didn't get the amulet. Kind of disappointed in that, but what can you do? But max stats: four thousand, four thousand one hundred sixty-two. Not bad, not bad. Kind of happy. I'm just. Well, not kind of. I'm actually really happy that I finally got a dual elemental armor. So, it's cool. But uh, let's take a look at the raid events, I guess. The, the raid results so far. So, congratulations to Warhammers and Loke City Rico for finishing in number one of the guilds and number one in the players. Uh, my guild finished 735. So, we weren't horrible. I mean top 500 obviously we're not there yet especially in raids my guild still needs work but we're working our way up so it's all good and then myself personally i finished 1985 so 1985 i did about 400,000 damage to the raid bosses not the greatest but usually during blitzes i don't do that well and then in my guild uh i did more than double my brother which is he's the second one in my guild so Overall, I was number one in my guild, but that's kind of common for my guild. Uh, now, let's take a look at the Guild War. I wish I had the gems for this. I really could use those Ice Drop Drake Berry. So, this is the Ice Drop Drake Berry Blitz War. So, again, Fusion Boost, Ring, and Amulets for anybody who needs it. I'm going to use this, so I'm going to try to push as far as I can with this. I'm not going to be gemming, sadly. Because if I were going to gem, I would be gemming all the way for all the Ice Drop Drake Berries. Because uh, am I currently crafting anything? No, I am not. So, for ex let me show you guys how many um, pieces I need left. So, I currently have two, I believe. And if I had oh, if I had gotten those uh, five extra, I would only need three more. And during the raid, if they have it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that. So, I'd only need two more Ice Drop Drake Berries. But that's if I pushed, which I do not have the gems for, sadly. So my closest Shadow Forge as of right now is the Sylvanus, then the Erebus Moons, not the Eternal, which is the one that just came out, the Aeolian Abomination, and then I have two Dragon Coins and two Ice Drop Drake Berries, and then everything else is like one piece, or the ones that take 12, but it's all 10 pieces for those. I pretty much count the ones that are under that. So for the Ice Drop Drake Berry, I was going to get the Terra Veil Storm Coat, but eight more pieces and like i said if i had the gems for it i would be pushing this blitz to get all those but sadly i don't so overall rewards though for the top players fire fusion boost with some smoldering shade crests for the shadow forge and a key not bad and then yeah like i said mainly these would be what i want i know for sure even with the small amount of gems i have if i do gem i can get the first one because I would be getting the extra gems in here along with whatever gems I watch before. I mean, whatever videos I watch with gems for uh, before tomorrow. So there's that. And so I wish, again, I had the gems, but sadly I don't. So what can you do? Uh, as of right now, I haven't gotten my Fire Fusion Boost armor yet. Uh, let me know if you guys have. We were supposed to get it today, but I haven't received mine yet. Uh, so let me know if you guys have. The day isn't over yet, but they did say the next day you're supposed to receive it. And it is the 14th already. Whereas the 13th, we were supposed, uh, that's where they allowed us, uh, the login. So who knows? But let's get into this, uh, leveling really quick. I don't have too many armors to level into this. So 200 exacto out of 200. So that's pretty cool. All right. Wait, am I using just fire? Oh, no, bad. I'm supposed to be using all my armors. I don't care about the lower um tier armors i crafted them just to craft them so i had fodder to use and i'm gonna end up crafting more even after i'm done with this video it's just me trying to get rid of all my armor smith material let me actually craft some really quick so sorry for this little delay guys but this is this is literally all i do i'll flip the order and whatever two stars or one stars i have mainly the two stars i just start crafting them and that's all I do. And I have four armor smiths, so I let them craft. And now let's go back into the armor leveling. So it's currently 12 out of 99. Not bad, not bad. Wait, let me see. Are we? Okay, we are on two stars now. Two stars, fire, fire. Let's get rid of the water ones, because those aren't going to give a bonus to it. The fires we want to save for last. 
so it gives a little bit more of a bonus. I try to do my best at maximizing the leveling up of the armor. I know it could be a lot better, but I do what I do, and I mean, I don't regret it, but it's just hard when you don't collect fusion boost armors. As you guys can tell here, I only have... This was literally just from the raid. I got 12 for being top, and then the rest was, like, push uh, for the milestones. That was it, so I don't get too many uh, fire, fire. Okay, here's earth. If it has fire in it, I'm going to save it, so we got to get rid of all this one, the air and earth one. Did level up one stage rate. Like, it's uh, evolution on the look. Did it go up a little already, so that's pretty cool. Now, let's see. Once it hits 34. Or 50. No, 50 is when it changes the stage again. So this is the second looking form of it. And then once it hits 50, it will change its form again. So that's not bad. Alright, now let's put that last one in there. And then just start throwing whatever fire armors we have. 28. 29. 30. Oh, we have a lot of material. 31. 32. 33. 34. 35. Alright, so we already got it to where if it was a regular one, it'd say you can craft the plus version. But we already are leveling up the plus version, so what can you do? Let's do this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, cool, cool, not bad, not bad. What is it, 40 now? 41. Oh, am I messing up right here? Let's see, 42. Yeah, I did mess up, so before we go into the four stars, just use that one so we at least get it out of the way because it doesn't give elemental bonus. 43, 45, 47... Ooh, about to hit 49. All right, fire, fire, fire. Okay, so throw all these in and throw in that earth one. And yeah, now we use the fusion boost because I have nothing else to use. Ooh, 51 barely. Let's see now, 53. Oh, I did hit the final form already. So that's not a bad look. It looks kind of like a monkey with a lion shield. I don't, to me, it looks like a monkey face somewhat. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but that's what I see. And, well, that's everything, guys, sadly. All I could get was 62. I know the fusion boost could have been used a little bit better as well. I usually try to use fusion boost once I hit uh, 70, because once you hit 75, that's the max amount of gold you'll be spending per level up. So, I mean, per enhancement. And so fusion boosts are really necessary once you hit 75, so I try to start around 70, but had nothing else to throw into this armor, so... 62 out of uh, 99, not bad. So let's see, we have that one, that one, that one. Uh, we'll change this one to put the fire one. Just so I can have like one of everything on all my knights. So then when I go to my profile, each one of my shadow forges are equipped. And that's literally all my five shadow forge armors that I have. Aside from the regular versions, because all the heroic ones, it's the plus versions of them. I don't count the regular ones because I'm not really leveling those. And I focus more on the power, I mean, not the powering, the um, the plus version. So, there's that. But, yeah, guys, uh, let me see. Kind of a short video for you guys. Don't really have much to show right now. Uh, like I said, Blitz starting tomorrow. After that, uh, Arena will be resetting so uh, that's actually something else really quick I wanted to talk about. Oh, sorry. That was my uh, Summoner's War notifying me. I do still play it every now and then. Mainly I just run my guild, but this is Knights and Dragons. Let's worry about that. So uh, my pets, let's see how much do I have. Uh, a little bit over a day till this guy stops becoming sick. So I'm going to more, like, more than likely use him this weekend. Pretty sure this weekend's raid is going to be Fire and Earth. And if I'm wrong, then it's going to be uh, fire or water, just so you guys know. But it's going to be fire no matter what. And so far, the last raid, we had fire air. Uh, this one, we just had fire spirit for the blitz. And considering they're trying to use all the elements of fire this season, it's either going to be fire water or fire earth. But I don't think they have the... No, they don't have it here. But if you go back to my uh, other video that I made where I was going over the events for the month... 
they do have the amulet or ring, whichever one, but it's for the other um, armor that's going to be coming out, which is the eternal version of the Volcanus. So it's it looks like this armor, but it's practically all yellow. Like it doesn't even have red or orange in it anymore. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be still the same elemental, but it's going to be the eternal version now. So it's going to be stronger. And so I'm fairly certain this weekend is going to be fire earth. But if it's not, again, it'll be fire water because we already did fire air and fire spirit so far. So we'll see. But I'm fairly certain it's fire earth. So let me know about that. I mean, not let me know. Let me know um, if you guys are ready for that because I kind of am not really. If I do do it, I think I'm going to be running these three nights again. That's what I did for, obviously, this current uh, Blitz raid that passed. But uh, I know this guy's not the best. He doesn't deal extra damage, doesn't take extra damage. But I don't really have any other water armors to use. So, oh, well, I'll have to end up using it. Uh, Arena-wise, I am currently ranked 313. Not really trying to push. I don't want to get top 200. Like, it's too difficult for me. Well, not difficult. It's just I'm lazy. And if I want to push top 200, I need to fight my friends constantly every day. I have 123 right now out of 129. So six more spots if anybody wants to add me uh, until I level up again. So who knows how long that will take. But 313, 313 right now. Here's what milestone I'm about to hit. Uh, let me know if you guys actually have gone for the Dragon Coin. If any of you guys have taken advantage of this new PvP tournament. Uh, if I had the gems, maybe I would go for it, but that's quite expensive. 300,000. I'm barely hitting 36,000. Like, that's the milestone I'm going to hit. To hit 300,000, you'd have to be doing 10 times the amount of fights that I'm doing right now. And that's a lot. It's a gem just for one dragon coin. I don't know if it's worth it. What do you guys think about the PvP? But let me know what you guys think. That's the end of the video here because there's not much content to cover. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll make just a really short video covering the new epic boss and maybe doing a little bit of the war. But I'm not really a big fan of wars. I've already said this before. And then Thursday, uh, we'll go over what the elements are going to be for the raid. And if I don't do that on Thursday, definitely on Friday, I always start the raids for you guys. So I will have footage of me starting the raid for you guys. So if I don't make a video for you guys tomorrow or Thursday, Friday, definitely I will be uploading. But um, oh, really quick before I end the video, guys, I did make a new YouTube channel. So if any of you guys were watching like my Dark Souls playthrough or uh, what else did I play? Um, what other game did I play? I don't even know. But if you guys want to see me playing PC games, uh, subscribe to my other YouTube account. Uh, if you guys are interested in Halo Wars, if you guys ever played that and you want to see, I did pre-order Halo Wars 2. So I'm going to start playing that on uh, Friday, I believe. 15, yeah, Friday. Because they allow four days early access to those that pre-ordered it. So I am going to start playing on Friday. And the game doesn't officially release till Tuesday. So that's pretty cool. If you guys want to see me playing Halo Wars, subscribe to my other channels. Uh, Halo Wars 2, I'm going to be playing that there. I'm probably going to upload uh, before Friday some Halo Wars content so I can get myself uh, used to the game again. And then Halo Wars 2, as soon as I get a I'm get, i able to play that, I'm going to be making footage on that. So if you guys are interested in that, subscribe to my other channel. That's going to be strictly PC gaming. Uh, whatever. Oh, Overwatch I had uploaded. That's what it was. But if you guys are interested in any PC gaming and you want to see me do that, it's a bit different than these normal Knights and Dragons videos because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a different person when I play PC gaming. But if you guys are interested in that, check out my other channel. I have up already, already uploaded three videos, two on Dark Souls 2 and one on Undertale. I am currently playing Undertale as well, doing a full run through on that. So if you guys are interested in seeing me play PC games, subscribe to my other channel and let me know. Share it if you guys can as well. Help me out. That would be a great great uh you know just really great for me because i feel like i'm gonna probably be uploading more of my pc gaming than knights and dragons because as you guys can tell i don't have too much content to go off of with knights and dragons so i apologize for that i really wish i could upload more but i don't have too much to do yet maybe in the future i'll have more to do but as of right now please guys share my other youtube channel that would mean a lot to me because i really want to be uploading a lot more on that channel and like i said halo wars 2 i'm going to be playing that as soon as i can uh i'm going to be playing the stick of truth and i am going to pre-order the uh, fractured butthole so the south park game if you guys didn't know that they are making a sequel to the stick of truth i am going to be playing the stick of truth to get the whole storyline down and then not it's not going to come out till december so i have a long time till then but i am going to pre-order it and as soon as that 
comes out later on you guys can see me playing that too but a lot of other games i will be starting to play on that channel so if you guys want to see any new game content please subscribe to that channel and share it that would help so much but yeah guys that's the end of this video uh like the video if you guys like it subscribe if you guys want to see more of knights and dragons content on this channel this is my channel for knights and dragons i will maybe be doing other mobile games but mainly knights and dragons so subscribe if you guys want to see more and i'll talk to you guys next time take care